Don't you love making a video right after you sneeze? Anyway, I wanted to continue on the last video that I made that I knew that I would get a lot of thumbs down for. Um, but I'm just trying to brainstorm a bit here. Um, I know that the things that I talked about would, if they were implemented, would hurt my channel as far as subscribers, viewers, any of that. I've got a lot of very cool subscribers. Most of the comments that are made are pretty well thought out. I don't have very many trolls. I don't have very many people that come on and, and abuse uh, anything. I don't have much of the meanness coming to my channel. There are obviously, obviously exceptions. Um, but... Uh, yeah, for the most part, I'm, I've been pretty fortunate. A lot of others, not so much. And... <clears throat> I'm not seeing very many ways of being able to um, stop some of the meanness other than to remove some of people's anonymity. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying for people to uh, give their name to the public, it's just to Google and their ID number to Google if they want some more privileges. Although, you know, I could modify what I, what I said in my last video. How about if content creators are given a choice of whether they want everyone to be able to make comments or just the people who have been verified. Verified meaning those who have shown, who have given Google their ID number and their name, their real name. Uh, you know, are they verified or are they not? Do you want just verified comments on your channel or all comments? I'm sure a lot of people would choose all comments. But there would be a lot of people who would choose verified users only. And on those sections, the amount of nastiness would be reduced by quite a bit. But people will, will have said, oh, well, if, you, if they implemented what you're talking about in your video, that would be the end of YouTube. Well, that's why I have this list on the right side of me that I'm going to start scrolling soon. What speed? There it is. That's good. All right. These are the most uh, popular via uh, how many subscribers they have. Uh, YouTubers. Okay. These are the channels that Google cares about. They don't care about channels like mine. They don't care about uh, most of the atheist channels or the feminist channels or the the uh, MRA channels or the SJW channels or, you know, any esoteric subjects. They, they don't care about those really. Except for maybe like Alex Jones because it's, you know, extra entertaining, right? But even that doesn't have that many subscribers. Um, but they care about channels like Ray William Johnson with that, that kind of format still where it's, you know, taking some sort of trending videos and uh, uh, making little commentary on, to, on, on top of them or between them, right? Usually trying to be as funny as possible. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Look how stupid this person is. Um, oh, look how amazing this is. Blah, blah, blah. Then you have people that make animations. Then you have people that just... Sometimes people will say, talk about mundane things, but in entertaining ways. Um... You've got all the music channels, the, the the channels, the official channels from different musicians. Um, you know, 
the types of things that people will invite friends over to their house, they'll all sit down on the couch, turn on the television, go to YouTube with through their television, which Google hopes that YouTube will be uh, a replacement for what we usually know of as television, and uh, try to watch something that's entertaining, something that will entertain their guests. And that's really the primary focus. Google could care less. Oh, I said that wrong. I usually say that right. Google couldn't care less. If you say if they could care less, then they could care less. But no, Google couldn't care less about channels like mine. They couldn't care less about channels like Bearing or Undoomed or Anita Sarkeesian. Um, they couldn't care less about those things. They care about what gives them money. What makes them money? What do people want to play in their living rooms? So, to think that if all of the esoteric channels just disappeared overnight, to think that it, uh, YouTube wouldn't survive out of that, <laughs> it's laughable. Laughable. Okay. YouTube needs some competition. Okay. YouTube is going a direction that is going completely away from people making esoteric content. They're going completely away from, uh, you know, oh, the great debate. I mean, man, man, that's something they really don't give a shit about. Um, you know, they're moving away from that sort of thing. And there needs to be some sort of platform for those of us who want to put out that kind of content. There may not be nearly as much of a potential of making money as there is on YouTube, but, uh, and in fact, in a lot of these cases, people might even pay for some sort of service to be able to do this, sort of like how Vimeo kind of is to some degree, except their uh, terms of service would be nice and open on uh, the things you talk about and the way that you talk about them, but would probably have the restrictions that YouTube does for things like nudity and such, right? But there needs to be some other platform. There does. There needs to be another platform. YouTube is not the place for, for esoteric discussions. Right now, there's no replacement, but there needs to be. But it's still currently not really the place. It's not the correct uh, forum for, of discussion for this stuff. You know, I am totally for there being competition to YouTube in this regard. And Google would probably be happy about it because now they don't have to deal with that crap. So, I've tried making several versions of this video. I've been hoping I could make it in under 10 minutes. This is almost 9 minutes, so it's just about as long. But, uh, you know, if you've got some better ideas than what I talked about in my last video to take care of some of these issues, and you might think that these things aren't really issues, well, that's fine. But look at it from a business perspective of, you know, what Google wants YouTube to be and, you know, discuss it that way from their perspective. That's how you have to look at this is from their perspective, not from your personal perspective, not from what you really wish things would be. Because the things I talked about in my video, they would hurt people like me as far as, as people seeing my content. It would hurt a lot of YouTubers who make esoteric content. It would. It would hurt us. Absolutely. I know this. But there are a lot of things that Google could do to YouTube that would hurt us a lot more than that. 
Imagine if they tried to implement their stupid algorithm that they try to use to block spam, if they tried to use that to block more, more comments that people make. And nobody would know, you know, who, who's making the comment would never know whether or not uh, their comment was seen, whether it got blocked, because when they go to the channel, they see their comment, but then no one else can. I mean, it, you know, they could make that sort of thing much worse. I mean, Google can always make something worse. Flat out, for, for the end user, Google can always make it worse. Always. There's always a potential for it to be worse. I think the thing that I talked about in my last video was not that bad in contrast to what Google could do. Imagine if they just got rid of the comment sections altogether. They could do that and say, well, uh, just use Facebook or Google Plus or Twitter to talk about the, uh, the videos. YouTube is for the videos. They could easily do that and be justified in it. It would still line up with YouTube. Tube. They want it to replace the regular tube. They want it to replace television. And this is how they can do that. So... You know? I guess that's all I've got to say. Yeah, 11 minutes and whatever seconds and banana fungus because I forgot to unclick the, the, the middle button.